President Trump tonight and the new suggestion that the U.S. military now pay for the border wall? What about the promise that Mexico would pay for it? Cecilia Vega tonight asking the White House that question. It was President Trump's signature line. Who's going to pay for the wall? Mexico! Mexico is going to pay for the wall. 100%. But tonight, sources tell ABC News that behind closed doors, the president has suggested that funding for his border wall should come not from Mexico, but rather from the U.S. military. He's broached the idea with House Speaker Paul Ryan and even seemed to test it publicly, tweeting the military is again rich. A great border wall is all about national defense. Build wall through M. M being for military. But Congress would need to sign off. And today, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer called the plan a blatant misuse of military funds. Pressed today on who exactly will pay for that wall, the White yeah, House minute. short on answers. And isn't it true at this point that Mexico is just not going to pay for that wall? Uh, I'm not going to go beyond what the president's already said. I think he still has uh, plans to look at potential ways for that to happen. What ways is he considering to have Mexico pay for the wall? When we have an announcement on that, I'll let you know. The White House also still grappling with the fallout from that bombshell 60 Minutes interview with porn star Stormy Daniels, who claims she had an affair with Mr. Trump in 2006. The president watches 60 Minutes. If he's watching tonight, what would you say to him? He knows I'm telling the truth. But the president has remained out of the public eye and uncharacteristically quiet about that interview, which was watched by more than 20 million people. The president has denied these allegations, uh, and I don't have anything else further to add on that front. You've also called him a counterpuncher many times. Why is he not punched back on this one? Look, the president, I didn't say he punches back on every single topic. He also has a country to run, um, and he's doing a great job with that. All right, Cecilia Vega with us live from the White House tonight. And Cecilia, yet another major announcement from the Trump administration. For the first time in more than 60 years, the census will now ask people whether they are American citizens. Yeah, David, uh, this could have major implications as well. Critics say this is about intimidating immigrants and will result in a, uh, a population undercount and potentially could lead to lost congressional seats. But the White House says this protects voting rights and is necessary to measure the eligible voting population. California immediately filed suit. David and now other blue states are promising the same. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.